Rituximab is an IgG1 chimeric monoclonal antibody that is composed of murine variable and human constant regions. Rituximab binds CD20, a surface antigen whose expression is restricted to B cells. CD20 is a membrane-associated phosphoprotein that regulates the early steps in B cell activation. Binding of CD20 by rituximab neither modulates expression nor causes substantial internalization of CD20. Treatment with rituximab causes rapid depletion of certain B cells within the first three treatments, and the effects can last for six to nine months. CD20 positive B cell precursors, transitional B cells, and naive B cells are most susceptible to deletion by rituximab, while B1, marginal zone, and germinal center B cells are more resistant. It is hypothesized that rituximab works through numerous candidate mechanisms. These mechanisms vary depending on how the disease is expressed in each patient. The first mechanism of B cell deletion is antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, or ADCC, where an antibody-coated target cell is directly killed by an effector cell expressing FC receptors. The second mechanism of B cell eradication occurs via complement activation through the classical pathway. This leads to formation of the membrane attack complex and, consequently, cell lysis. The third mechanism of B cell attack by rituximab induces apoptosis of B cells. Which mechanism of action takes place may be influenced by host factors, such as genetic background or disease-specific factors, including the availability of an intact complement pathway and the magnitude of background B cell survival signals. One other possible mechanism through which rituximab may work is the immune complex decoy hypothesis whereby the binding of rituximab IgG molecules to B cells forms immune complexes that in turn bind to FC receptor expressing immunocytes and lead to sequestration, elimination, or altered function. By depleting B cells and modulating the immune system, rituximab leads to reduced antigen presentation, pro-inflammatory cytokine production, and autoantibody production thus potentially reducing the severity of B-cell-mediated autoimmune rheumatic diseases.